Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the GMTK Game Jam 2020. Now, this Game Jam is basically as big as Ludum Dari now. It's got 5,482 entries, but everyone keeps tweeting at me and emailing me and messaging me, so we're going to see how this goes. If you particularly want your game played, you can add a link to the comments, but I'm just going to be going through and playing as many as I can for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And if you want to support me so I can make more of these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. That'd be great. There's a link to that in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter. Anyway, let's start. Next. We're playing Duplicating Adventures. Alright, let's take a look at these enemies. Our bullets have an arc. A big arc. And not great for actually shooting things arc. Well, I like that we can just kind of destroy graves. I wish I understood how to like kill these enemies though. I quite like their graphic models. Yeah, the bullets aren't really doing anything. Yeah, you're dead. Do you really play games? No, I clearly don't play games at all. Look at how far away, like, my shots are going. The arc on them. And it doesn't matter what angle, it's still the same arc. Interesting. I guess there's definitely a lack of control. That one's outside of the fence. You shouldn't be outside of the fence, zombie. <laughs> I don't actually know if they're allowed outside the fence or not. They might be. I avoided everyone into the city. Oh, I win! Oh, okay, so I just need to avoid everyone. Next. We're playing Gary Goose. A goose has already been hurt. Oh, it's been hurt a couple times now. All right, so we can jump around. I like these graphics. They're, oh, that was a big across his neck. They're adorable. I can't control if the goose is going left or right. I can only jump. Uh, we're definitely gonna die. Yeah, that was right on the neck. Like you know, this goose should be definitely beheaded several times by now. I like our shoes. I feel like we're doing all right. I feel like. The game's really forgiving at first. <laughs> you know? Simple concept, quite funny execution. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> Aw, next. We're playing Prepare for Launch. I like that title screen, that was, that was great. Oh, all right, so. Yep, that wasn't great, cool, cool, cool. Five, four, so we need to position ourselves right for the timer and then take advantage of the time that we are using the jetpack. That is the important thing here. Oh no. Three, two. It's not high enough. Okay. I think maybe I have an idea. I want to just fall a little bit. Okay. I still can't get up there. Oh no. This is a challenge. Oh, we got it. Okay, got that in the end. I'm just gonna stay right here for a second because I don't want to hit any of these spikes. And I'm gonna walk really quickly. <laughs> There's so much you have to look at in this. It's such a creative idea. Nope. Okay. It's because I'm sliding a bit. Cute! I like the graphic style as well. The mix of 2D and 3D is quite nice. Next. We've already died. Uh, we're playing Wet Line uh, Turku. So, right. This is a challenge. Okay. Alright. Alright. Took a breather. It's left and right and then we can uh, kind of control movement and then acceleration is another thing we get. Alright, we got the hang of it, so we're kind of accelerating. Ah, oh, no. 
We did well. We did better. Well. Look it, we're fine. It's fine. Ugh. Once you get going fast, you can't control this car. Again, I quite like this graphic style. Well, so many games have such nice graphics in this jam. And there's such a variety of nice graphics as well, but look at like the layering on the city there. Fuh, this isn't a power-up. This is the opposite of a power-up. This is a power-down. Yeah, I don't like those. I feel like we kind of got the hang of something. Maybe. That's also not a power-up. I just couldn't see anything for a second. <laughs> cool. Interesting. Next. We're playing OMG Sun Exploded and we are going to die. <laughs> Move with A and D, left arrows, restart the arc, collect gas tanks. Okay, your goal is to reach the sunproof shelter. Yeah, we're probably not gonna reach it, we're probably just gonna die. I think it's in the title. Got that one. So we kind of get little bursts depending on where we're facing. And that's kind of our movement. I like how big our ship is, which is probably a weird thing to say, but it means that when we go sideways, we can collect more, even if it's just slightly out of reach. And that's good. But not quite there. Ah, these gas tanks are far away now. It almost seemed easier at the start, which is interesting. Ah. I like this concept. It's simple, but it's quite nice. We're definitely not making it, though. Yeah, falling. That's it, we're just gonna go through death. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Next. We're playing Broken Biplanes. I'm playing the browser version. I don't know why it's cut off. There is no download version, I should state. I have been trying to play the downloaded version when the browser-based versions are cut off, but... This is quite fun. I really like the oh, I really like the explosions on the planes when they get hit. They're sleek. They also kind of look like flowers, which I also enjoy. I feel like I have pretty good control over the plane and everything. I mean, there's a lot of planes now coming at me, but. Oh wow, look at that, it's like a giant limp. Oh, I won though. Almost died. Not sure how I won, not sure if I actually did win. I guess I can't stop moving and shooting, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so that's what I can't control. I mean, helpful. Next. We're playing unexpected. Left or right to move, space to jump. I made the scale and that means they're bugs. I mean, most places there are bugs, to be completely honest. Most games, games made by five people, also, also bugs. Welcome to the game unexpected. This is for, this game is for Game Jam 2020. Love it. Ah, I do like the fact that there are, uh, red, small red animations when spikes are gonna come up. Even though they don't give you much warning, they give you some. My goal is to be on the ground as little as possible and make it through. Well. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it. That was close, though. Out the door. Darn it, I was looking in the air too long. This isn't like so much of a rage platformer that you get angry with it because it is quite random and you can't see what's happening. But it's definitely an interesting take on the theme. Next. We're playing Soothing Sequence. I think this is a really cool concept, so quite excited, you know. Also, look at that menu screen. Look at these, look at these graphics. So you don't want to collect the red guy. But you do want to collect uh, these other jars. These other jars, these other feelings. 
And by the sounds of it, they'll end up sort of mellowing each other out, hopefully. Making it less hard to lift the jar. Come in the jar. Come in the jar. In the end, you want to get all the colors with the red being the last one because he's angry. This is tough. The red just like mm, destroyed me getting one. No, come back. I really love the graphic style though. Caught you. That yellow made a, a big difference to the blue. Ah, oh, yeah, so the red, if it goes in, it just kicks one out. Come here, yellow. <laughs> Such an angry little sprite. Beautiful graphics in this. Next. We're playing Hackin' Time. Hello, friend. The world is chaos. Very true. Out of control. Let's stop the evil police department and leak the data of their brutality. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, we have to tap it. It's a tapping game. I can tap. Don't worry, I can tap. Use a computer. Nice graphics. Can we, t can we tap you? Cool. That was like fixing a wire. Oh, well. Yeah, leave. You don't need to be in here. Don't notice me, guy with a hoodie. I wonder if we turned off the light switch. Don't know. Not sure where this eyeball thing is either, but we're gonna avoid him. Ah, oh, darn it. Right at the edge. It's got tricky fast. What if we just boop? Aw, oh, but I was right by there and he was right by there. So we do need to use that light switch, just probably not yet. Oh, because he just turns, yeah. All right. Alright, let me just get through the door. Cool. Ah, oh, that was the end. That was a nice little game. Next. We're playing hot dog out of control. Oh, we have to press the button down there. Okay. Game over. Let me try again. I didn't understand that it was touchscreen controls. This is obviously a game that's optimized for touchscreens. So they just bounce around. So you basically want to get rid of the stuff on the grill as soon as it's placed on the grill. So that they don't get a chance to bounce around. It's hard to get towards that way. I guess what we're doing is ensuring they don't continue forward. Game yeah. I'm not very good at this. I almost wish when they bounced off they went around in a more sporadic way so they could continue bouncing. I almost wish just clicking down would fire so that I didn't have to click X. Yeah. Over. Not the best at this. Next.